Welcome to the DRO store. This is the video training for TDS3i DRO. Today we will cover the basic of the operation of the TDS3i. We are going through the operation of mm inches absolute and incremental park centering assist clear assist preset and calculator first is the mm inches okay this is the DRO that the DRO 3i uh, over here at the panel here is the assist label this is a fast zero of the axis and here is for the numerical uh, entry and here are all the functions of the counter so first on the mm and inches let me set to value okay so to convert it from mm to inches with a three decimal places is in a mm mode when we press the inch and mm button it'll be converted to the inch reading mode in the inch reading mode there will be four decimal places by toggling the inch and mm button you will trigger between mm and inches over here in a small window you will see the reading in polar coordinates in radius and angle format the next function is absolute and in incremental Here is the button for absolute. Now we are in absolute coordinates. We are go to incremental. Now we will be in incremental coordinate. And to go back to absolute coordinate. Now it's doing park centering to center the parts. You just or halving the position. You just select the half button and the axis you need to be center. Or you try another axis again. To enter. So now we want to center or half the dimension press a half key you this part me the choose axis so x axis so now we become half that's for part centering now we are doing axis clear to clear the axis you can just press on the X0 button or the Y0 button depending on which axis you want to clear to preset the axis just select the axis and key in the value that you need and enter calculator when you want to use a calculator function just press on the calculator button and now become calculator and can key in the whatever function that you want 20 divided by 4 equal and it will be equals to 5 let's say I want to move it to the x axis 
you can press the button it move the information to the x-axis let's say calculator 8 square root you get this value and then move to y when you don't want the calculator function simply press the calculator again So that's the end of the basic training and you can look out for the advanced training later. Bye bye.